from Lola Overland. It's Labor Day weekend, Friday night, 5.40 p.m., and I just hit the road. I'm traveling over Highway 26 over Mount Hood right now. About to meet up with Taz from Forbidden Off-Road, and me and him are linking up to go explore some area that we really haven't been to in a long time. We're going to the Ochico Mountains over in Central Oregon, just outside of Prineville and uh, gonna find a real nice camp tonight. Then tomorrow morning, wake up early. We're gonna go meet up with Casey from the Coyote Works channel. If you haven't seen his channel, you're definitely missing out. This guy has got a great wealth of knowledge. The whole area of Central Oregon, Southeastern Oregon, and uh, really looking forward to, to kind of picking his brain and, and seeing some of the cool spots he can show us. So it's gonna be a good weekend, super excited. Glad you're along for the journey. Let's go meet up with Taz and uh, see where the journey takes us tonight. All right, guys. All right, guys, we just pulled up to the Skyline Snow Park. Any minute now, Taz with the Forbidden Forerunner is going to pull in and we're going to make our plans and hit the road. So let's go look for Taz. All right, here comes Taz rolling in. Mountains looking beautiful on that rig. Welcome to the party, man. What's up? You ready to go? We are definitely ready to go. Both me and Taz had a super long week at work. Looking forward to getting out in the backcountry. In case you didn't know, we're meeting up with Casey from Coyote Works Coyote Channel. Works. And uh, he's going to share his wealth of knowledge with us, show us some really interesting places out in the Ochicos. Really looking forward to this weekend, man. Glad Very you good. came. Let's do it. Let's hit the road. Let's roll. Woo! Well, we didn't make it very far. We're in Madras and uh, Taz comes over the radio and says, hey, I think I forgot a hoodie, a coat, a long sleeve, everything. I don't have any of that, just short sleeves. And we're gonna be camping at about six, 7,000 elevations. So it's gonna get pretty cold up there and it's probably a smart move. We stopped and got him a hoodie. So we're just chilling at the Bymar in Madras. It's the happening spot. And it looks like the sun's going down behind me over here, which is cool with me. We're gonna find camp late, but that means I get to check out my new Baja Design LP6s. These things are beasts, and I can't wait to see their performance off-road. And then I got them paired up with a set of the Squadron Sports and a set of the Squadron Pros up top on my A-pillar. So, gonna be a good night. Gonna check out some new lighting, and I think he had good luck getting a hoodie. So I'm gonna eat some pistachios and hang out for a little while. All right guys, last stop before the trail. Filling up. Got Taz a hoodie, so he's gonna survive the weekends. Filling full of diesel. Get better gas mileage with diesel. Yeah, you actually made me double check that when you said that. <laughs> All right guys, let's rock, hit the trail. Burning daylight, what daylight? <laughs> All right, we finally made it off the pavement, airing down 
getting close to camp. I think we got about 15 miles of uh, off-road to go, and we're there. Uh, let's see, it's 10.14, so we should be set up and uh, we're gonna hit the hay by 11 to midnight. It's been a pretty good trip so far, but I'm happy we uh, made it off the pavement finally. This is where the fun begins. All right, guys, out. All right guys, Saturday morning, we just got up, woke up to this amazing area, sun shining, blue skies, gonna be a good day. We're gonna make some breakfast, try and hook up our new uh, WeBoost cell booster, check out some maps, and uh, go get some fuel, and then meet up with Casey from Coyote Works. Should be a good day. Thanks for joining along. All right guys, Saturday morning, we're back on the trail. About to head into town, find a little gas station, hopefully. Um, we're a little over a half tank, but we got a lot of traveling to do today and we just don't want to risk anything. So we're gonna try and fuel up. Cutting a little close on time to meet Casey at one o'clock at the coordinates he sent us. Um, so we're gonna do some trail mobbing and hopefully be there in time to hook up with Coyote Works. All right guys, hit that trail. Alright guys, we were a little bit concerned about getting fuel, so we were actually going to drive a little over an hour away to get fuel. Along the way, found this little shop and uh, fueled up, got our rotopacks full. Now we can go meet Casey and I think everything is going to be alright. Might be about an hour late or so, but I think that's going to work out just fine. So, hopefully a little bit more pavement and then back to the trail. <laughs> It's just a cattle gate, we can open this and go through. Yeah, as long as it's not locked, we can right. open it and yep. then close it behind us. Yep. That's what we're supposed to do. Yeah, you don't let the cows out. Other than that, you're good. Don't let the cows out. We let the dogs out. <laughs> we better you just stop. It. We can't be YouTubers. We're no good at this. Open this gate up. Oh, look at that rock pile. That's ah, ingenuity right there. We're here 
and we need to get here. But the road we're on that shows this is the route ended right here. So uh, we're just kind of trying to figure that out right now. Any ideas? Fly a plane? No, follow your map correctly. Well, we've hit a couple dead ends, but that's just part of overlanding and navigating these trails. So we're going back. I think we gotta go back about a mile and a half, take another route, and uh, hopefully we can get over there in time that Casey's still around. All right guys, well we were a little leery that we weren't gonna find Casey, but I was coming back to meet up with Taz and looked in my mirror and there he was. So that's a good plan. Uh, we're gonna hit the trail and probably go for a couple hours and find some cool country that uh, Casey's gonna show us. All right guys, we're here at the headwaters of the Crooked River and it's been a little bit of an adventure today. Uh, we had a <laughs> slight gas issue, had to find fuel in a small town called Polina got really lucky finding that and then uh, we hit the trails and spent about two hours getting to this point and uh, we found Casey from the Coyote Works channel so super excited about today and you're gonna share kind of your wealth of knowledge with this area and find some new terrain you've never been to so yeah super I, excited I always like to hit new country on my trip so I'm excited you guys are up for exploring and a little bit of an adventure absolutely yeah what kind of options we got today so we got um well, mostly we'll be up in the forest, but once we get down into that area that we're going to be exploring, we'll have a choice to either kind of stay up in the high country or hopefully we'll be able to find a trail. And we may even have to do some work on it to get down to the river, but that's what I'm hoping is that we'll actually make it to the river. We'll be able to camp on the side of the Crooked River tonight. Nice. Maybe catch yeah. some trot ads to throw in the pot or awesome. something. Crot, wait. And, uh, I don't and know about all that. fly fishing down there? Uh, yeah, you got a pole? I do. Oh, yeah. there's excellent fishing down really? there. Really? Yeah. Well, I'm excited. Excellent. There's about a 19 mile stretch of that river with virtually no road access. So wow. nobody kind of gets in there. Untouched terrain, yeah. Yep. Well, I'm can we, super excited. Can we shoot the crawdads? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think that. <laughs> That's about all they're good for, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right, well, I think it's time that uh, we go hit the trail. Sounds, what do you say? Sounds good. Let's do it. All, all right. right, guys. It was a good time to have my camera recording when Josh is noticing and admiring all the butterflies. Right there? Yeah. See it? It stops. Oh, got you. Oh, I see. You're looking at that faint line. Okay, yeah. so that one stops right there. We just need to get right here. We need to get there. right here. I show we're not quite there yet. Okay. So I show it being right here, a little okay. bit further. Yeah. Then... It's the one we want is we want to stay to the left, right? Yep. yep. I agree. Okay. I you guys, concur. You guys good? You need snacks or anything? I'm good. No, we're good. Let's roll. I want to get Josh to that river. Yeah, I want to do some fish. fly fishing. Heck yeah. Came back up the road, trying this other fork. That uh, should hopefully get us down to the river. Um, but we got a little thing to deal with here. Just a little guy. 
shouldn't be a big deal. Hook the winch up and uh, pull it right out of the way. So let's get the winch going. Hey, do you want to winch it or should I just do this? This guy's a human winch. He works out. Ah! <laughs> Man, I was all excited. He's, He's gonna winch. get to use his winch. Oh, I never no, get to no, use no. it. Look, now I got dirty. actually see the river down there and Casey just told me he's been wanting to come down here for 15 years um, and there's so many down trees people haven't been down here for years um, so I just took lead because I got a winch on my rig and we're gonna start winching some trees out of the way so time to get to work and then we can have a nice dinner I'm gonna have to crack a cold beer and whip out the fly rod So right over that edge there, you can actually see the river right now. We are on the home stretch, and I've got faith. We're gonna make it. Hey, we better keep walking before we take off.
excited about all this delicious food I can't even tell you so I'm gonna go in the scottle with just a little bit of oil or maybe kind of a copious amount of oil a, a copious, copious a copious amount or a little bit <laughs> generally a little bit more than you think uh, look at that mm. That's a good sound. basically what I'm gonna do with these veggies is I'm just going to cook them until they just start to soften a little bit. I don't want to overcook them at this stage because we're also going to need time for the meat to cook. So just want to get them started because they'll take a little bit longer. Oh, there it is. I should have brought my uh, front runner kitchen utensil set over too. Uh, but I felt like we'd have too much stuff over here if I did that. Yeah, we got three of them here, so. <laughs> This is the production that is dinner. Lights everywhere, cameras everywhere. <laughs> this is what we do. Filet mignon, stir fry on the scottle. Good stuff. Monster energy at 8.30 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> that just seems like a bad idea. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we've got our uh, our steak and our vegetables all cooked down. So I'm going to toss the not yucky soba, yucky soba noodles. I thought you in. said it was yucky. We'll just yucky. Break those up a little bit. Spread them around in there. That'll cover our carbs. So this is pretty much a complete meal. We've got our carbs, our proteins. We've got it all covered here. I think we're good, guys. I think this is ready to eat. I, have, I don't have them in automatic yet. I'm working on it. <laughs> nice, that'll work. <laughs> Good enough. CK's working on it. I'll have one soon. <laughs> guys it's Sunday morning we just crawled out of our tents kind of checking out the whole area and what an amazing spot to wake up from laying inside my tent I could see the Crooked River all the way down the canyon uh, I woke up to the sound of coyotes howling it's just so amazing and to be in this spot where no one's been in a very long time uh, maybe never even driven a vehicle on this shelf that we're parked on uh, such a cool experience and to hang out with Casey from Coyote Works 
and to pick his brain and just his wealth of knowledge. Uh, what a great feeling. I'm excited for some more adventuring today and it's been a really epic trip. Since I talked about it. All right, let the magic begin, right? I'm ready. Hey, scoot over. Hey. Come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know if we cooked enough. I don't know. Josh, you better hurry up. Should we just take it all? <laughs> hey, if you leave me the can, bacon. We can take him. I don't you leave me the bacon, I'm good. <laughs> I don't think it'll all fit on my plate. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. Don't be shy. Mm. That's good. Mm. Nice work. Terrible. Nice teamwork on that breakfast. So traditionally, around my camp, breakfast is usually the planning time. Mm -hmm. So what you guys thinking for the day? We'll do a, after breakfast, do our yeah, hike I think, down to the river. And go down to the river. Get I'm a throw a up. line out there. Nice. And wander up, back up here and then... Probably pack up and... Roll? Yeah. We can take kind of a leisurely... We don't have to be in a huge rush. Maybe spend an hour or two down... Yeah, I'm down in to no the time back constraints today, so... The only unknown is we don't really know how long it's going to take us to get out of here because right. that'll be an unknown route today too. What's kind of your plan going out of here? Mm. As far as the route that we take or mm -hmm. timing? Just kind of the route and what you're... So what I'm hoping is that we'll be able to kind of pick our way along a series of you know old fire roads, old jeep trails and stuff. Basically we'll parallel the river and at a certain point oh, I don't know, probably five or six miles down there, we should be able to come out on another kind of main Forest Service road mm -hmm. that'll take us down to the post Polina Highway. Okay. So, a little bit of an unknown, at least these first couple of miles. I've, I've been to a point a couple of miles from here coming in from that way, so it'll just be a matter of can we find our, can we find our way to that point that I know from there on out we can follow those roads. And how many trees we have to move. <laughs> All right, I think it's time that we head down to that river, throw a line in, and see how lucky we get. Shouldn't be too much of a challenge getting down there. I think we saw a pretty nice route right around the corner. So let's go take a trip. guys we're all loaded up ready to hit the trail again what an epic campsite this was and just a great adventure 
great time hanging out with Casey, but the day's not over yet. We're gonna make our way back out of here, hopefully find a couple of the homesteads, look for some arrowheads, and we're actually gonna take a different track out of here. So, still up for a lot of adventure today. Sunday still has a lot of daylight left, and uh, I'm excited for the journey ahead. Pretty much wraps up this trip casey i can't thank you thank you enough for yeah. showing us around and you guys just sharing your wealth of knowledge you guys it were was, awesome to have along really enjoyed it it was a really amazing trip and we're definitely going to link back up with casey and uh, watch for some more content and watch for casey using more of our products and uh excited for the next adventure me too me too and so i want to thank you but i i'm a little mad at you right now oh to man, be honest no because good. You showed me a couple of, of the weapons you have, and while I am a, a, a big weapons guy, I do need a new gun now, because, uh. so, my wife is gonna be phoning you, she's gonna be per pretty mad. Probably. Oh, perfect, yeah. perfect. But anyway, thank you for that. Yeah. <laughs> no worries, man, no worries. And you got a way nicer AR-15 than I do. Well, there's one, right? I yeah. have one. I got one on you, so, it's, 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 uh, it's, it's always a fun game, but. Hey, it was a pleasure uh, clearing the trails with you. We worked all, we all sweat hard and we all got dirty and um, I, it was a blast. This was, this was a really good time. Yeah. That, that was an adventure for sure. Like that, just the whole way the trip unfolded. We didn't know the route. We didn't know how tough it was going to be. Man, we got a little bit of exploring, a little bit of trail yeah. clearing and an epic camp spot. I mean, it just couldn't have been a more perfect trip. Yeah, yeah you really can't get any better. Well, no. Casey, <laughs> thanks again, man. Thanks, Josh. It was a pleasure. Tristan, look forward to seeing you guys again. Thanks again for watching, guys. And a big thank you to Casey from the Coyote Works channel. Thank you so much for showing us around your area. Oh, what a great trip that was. And if you enjoyed today's content, make sure to hit that like button, share, subscribe, and we'd love if you left a comment below. All right, guys, we'll see you on the next adventure. If you want to learn more about some of the products used in today's episode, head over to lolo4wheeldrive.com, lolo4wd.com, and we'll see you on the next adventure.